Fallout is a new Prime Video series based on the hugely successful video game series. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. 219 years after an apocalyptic nuclear exchange, a young woman leaves behind her home in a Vault 33 to venture out to the dangerously brutal, hostile, savage, and unforgiving wasteland of a devastated Los Angeles. So a point of reference for this review, I have not played a single Fallout game. I did watch about an hour of gameplay for this series because I wanted to understand a little bit of the tone of the video game series. I watched a walkthrough about an hour of the most recent Fallout game, so I have no understanding really of the Fallout series. So my thoughts on this series on Prime Video are strictly from a person who has not played this video game series. So my thoughts may be totally different than somebody who has played the series over and over again. And so I'm really curious to hear what people thought of the series if they have played the game. Because as someone who has not played the game, I wasn't entirely impressed with this series. We do have the setup in the beginning of the series, seeing this nuclear exchange and leading to this apocalyptic world set in the future. And from there on, we see the development of these vaults, how people live inside these vaults and the world above land as well. We, we do weave multiple storylines together. We do mainly focus on Ella Purnell as Lucy McLean, a young vault dweller, Aaron Moulton as Maximus, a squire of the Brotherhood of Steel, and Walter Goggins as Cooper Howard, a mutated gunslinger. So the storylines really do focus on them three. My problem with the Fallout series is that the stories developed throughout feel stuck. They are mostly introduced in the first and second episode of the series, eight episode series, and it feels completely drawn out. The same storylines that are going on mostly in the first and second episode are still continuing towards the end of the series. There's even detours that lead us back to the main storyline. Ella Purnell's character is trying to deliver something to the Brotherhood of Steel, and we have Maximus who is joining her on this journey. Walter Goggins' character has his own agenda as well, but they're really after one item, and it will help certain people with uh, surviving in this wasteland. But it goes on this adventure of trying to get this item back and deliver it as well. And it just feels stuck. It doesn't feel like it's moving so much that the pacing is really off because they have to do other things as well. They have to build the world within Fallout. They have to show the wasteland of Los Angeles. They have to show the vaults down below as well. And all of that I thought was fabulous. The world building in here is really good, but just some of the storylines feel completely drawn out and could add more of a quicker pace to it. The development of the world set within Fallout is nicely played out. I love exploring the vaults, the different vaults that we got and how the people in the post-apocalyptic world 219 years after the, the nuclear exchange have adapted and they have this agenda that they need to repopulate the world and they have their own society in these vaults and seeing the ins and outs of it was really interesting to me. I found it all to be very intriguing how they have their own little world in there and they have their society and exchanges amongst people and how people on this wasteland could bring danger to their vaults. And the show is not stuck just within this one vault. They do show different vaults as well and how they vary from the original vault that we got set up in the beginning of the series with Ella Purnell. But then the series does a great job of exploring the wasteland, showing what had happened and how life is so different. And since Ella Purnell's character Lucy goes above land, seeing her reaction to it all uh, changes and really starts to test what she has 
learned about the world and 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 starts to change some of her views along the way we have maximus this uh squire to the brotherhood of steel and his journey throughout the series is an interesting one as he has to hide really who he is and protect and protect lucy along the way but he's also trying to prove himself i thought aaron moton's performance was really good in here uh, I'm a little bit unsure of himself at times, but you see that chance, but you see that character nicely developed throughout. And then Walter Goggins, who probably is my favorite character in here. You see a little bit of him prior to this nuclear exchange and his views on the world and the views on the vault and society and free will and all of that. There's some really deep themes within that, but we also see him as this mutated gunslinger in his agenda as well and how he has shifted this character. So Walter Goggins essentially has to do two different performances, one prior to this nuclear exchange and then as this mutated gunslinger. Walter Goggins carries a lot of the series. I talked a little bit with my brother-in-law who played most of the Fallout games and I was curious his thoughts on the series, the game, and some of the humor within it. And he mentioned that there were so many different characters, so many different storylines, and there are some characters that have some humor. There are some characters that contribute some humor along the way. And I want to know a little bit about that because the series has a lot of humor. If it's in the vault and how people perceive the world above and some of the things that they do, and then some of the reactions above land, there are some there are plenty of jokes here and there about the vaults and the world and mutated animals along the way. It doesn't really skip on the humor because it is pretty witty at times and a bit wild when it comes to some of the reactions and some of the mutated animals and some of the action scenes as well. So at times it does have this lighthearted feel to it despite being taking place in a post-apocalyptic world and societies underground and mutated animals above land, it tries to have some humor throughout. And I thought that worked within it. There's some decent action in here as well. I expected more of an adventure feel. I expected more action based on some of the gameplay that I have seen in discussion with my brother-in-law. I expected a little more adventure and action throughout. But when we did get it, I thought it was pretty intense and not only added to the world within Fallout, but also added some intensity along the way. With some of these mutated animals that we come across, it just only explores more of this wasteland. But I think some of the storylines just move very slowly throughout. Ella Purnell is trying to obtain something so she can uh, protect her family. Maximus is trying to prove himself to the Brotherhood of the Steel. And Walter Goggins has his own agenda. But what is introduced really early on in the series still continues throughout. And they do add on more storylines if it's the vault and the secrecy behind it and its uh, origins as well. A lot of the storyline progresses very slowly and I think they could have maybe took on a little more or uh, shifted things early on because they go on these little detours like episode six and seven and then just brings them back to where they were prior to that. So the narrative is a little bit all over the place, um, very slow as well, but I did like the exploration of these vaults and uh, the society underground, it all looks really good. A lot of the set designs has so much detail. If it's the vault or the wasteland above ground, it's all interesting to explore. And it did pique my interest in wanting to explore some of the games. I don't know exactly where to start, but uh, it, it, it did catch my interest in seeing how the games play out versus the series. Uh, some of the episodes are over an hour long. Some are about 40-ish minutes long. So you get uh, some a variety of run times. But overall, Fallout, uh, the story itself really didn't intrigue me and impress me. But the world building within it, that was really great. A lot of the action, the humor, I found to be really intriguing. The performances are good as well. I liked Ella Purnell as Lucy in here what she stood for and how when and how she went above land and that all challenged everything that she learned prior and she has this uh this mindset of 
doing good for other people and they will help you as well and that's not what you get in the wasteland that is completely different from everybody else's that they have to fight for themselves so fallout if you like the video game series you may most likely probably like this series i heard a lot of great things but as someone who has not played the game there were some things i had there were issues i had with the story and its progression as well but a lot of it also was really intriguing with the world building the style of it the visuals that all popped and it at least was worth my time so before i give you a score for fallout on prime video make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot i'm gonna go ahead and give fallout a b minus Thank you guys for checking my review for Fallout, the new Prime video series based on the video game franchise. Let me know your thoughts of the series down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.